Well, I mean, from, you know, the minute, you know, Western's on the schedule and, you know, DJ's a Michigan State guy, I'm a Michigan State guy. So, you know, we know what the deal is. Like, they're going after the glass and then they're pounding it and they're good at it, really, really good at it. They lead the league. And so that's been a point of emphasis the last two days in practice, just getting ready for them. And we knew whether it was man or zone, we had to find some bodies, man. They had We had to hit them. We had to hit them early because, you know, guys like Brown, those guys, they get on the rim. If you can hit them, but they're just going to play over the top of you. So I was proud of the guys who were real physical, like you, as you said. You know, they got us the first four minutes of the game. They got us the last four minutes of uh, the first half, and they were plus eight on offensive rebounds. And in the second half, um, you know, we cut it down to six, but we got ours as well, too. So for us to out-rebound them and beat them on the glass, that's a big deal. That 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 kind of offsets those two things, the transition game and the rebounding game. If you don't do those two things against Western, you don't have a chance. Well, probably over the last um, – Four or five games, we've been primarily – that's been our defense. Yeah. We've been playing with that. But we, we play, man. It just kind of depends on makes and misses and different things that happen during the course of the game. Um, just, you know, if it, what's working, what's not working, we just kind of read the read the situation. Uh, but, you know, once A Cup kind of went out of the game, uh, really – and we were really shorthanded at, with players. We didn't have much, you know, when you had the choice but to kind of roll with the zone. But they shot the hell out of it. Um, you know, both uh, – Hannah was really, really hot. He was on fire. And – um, you know, that hurt us as well. And uh, then, you know, just kind of finding um, Hubbard. Hubbard got going as well, too. But they, they you know, I, I thought uh, it was a battle. It went down to the stretch. And, you know, it was who's going to make some plays. We got a put-back layup from Lovejoy. We got a put-back from uh, Jihad and the free throw. So, and that was that was a difference. That was a really scary injury for Aikos. Yeah. But he did get to 1,000 points earlier in the game. Which is kind of what has he meant to your program and you as a coach? He's, I tell you, at first, he's, he's a joy to coach. Like, you know, he's, he's no maintenance. Um, he's does everything you ask him to do. He's easy to coach. Um, he's got a great personality with his teammates and his coaches. He comes to work every single day. Um, you know, and obviously he's an extremely productive guy. And, you know, if, if we had maybe a few more kind of, you know, shooting and different things to help him, it would really like, I, I think, you know, he's averaging 20 right now and everybody's all over him. He doesn't get much space. He'd easily be a 27, 26 point guy leading the league and be one of the top three or four guys in the country. Uh, big night from Estonia, obviously. Um, how important is his consistency to this team? Well, I mean, we're, we're give, putting a lot on the freshman's shoulder. And, uh, you know, as, as time is going on, you know, those freshmen grow up and you start seeing it. And even, um, you know, early in the season at different times, he's been a clutch guy for us. Like we, he beat, we beat Kent State with a clutch three from him. Our last game against Ball State, he hit a clutch clutch three with like 40 seconds to go, put us up by four. And then obviously in this game, too, he hit some big baskets at critical times. So he can really shoot the ball. Uh, he's been on a pretty big stage his whole life. You know, he played in the, the World Games last year, the U, I think U18, U19. Uh, so he was playing against the world teams. And so he's played in some some big moments. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I thought he'd be a great fit for us. Just even though he's young, I think he's ready for the moment. Uh, well, the guy you didn't mention was White. We we thought like he really hurt us first time around. I think he had he he got hurt in the game, but before he got hurt, he had like 14, 15 points and really shot the ball well from three. Uh, but you're right, you know Hubbard's one of those guys. Uh, you know he's he's a scorer and and we you know he's making shots and he made some early. He's seeing a big basket, and uh, he still made his share. Uh, but, um, you know, yeah, we, we knew we had to keep an eye on him. A lot of senior shoots a high percentage. We had to, you know, close his space as well, too. Um, so, you know, that was, you know, they still shot the ball well from three, but it was a major emphasis to make sure they didn't get clean looks. Wow. Well, it kind of stinks for us because the teams we needed to lose won, and, you know, we won. So, um, you know, we're still kind of in the same situation we were in before the game. Uh, but that's our league. I mean, it's, it's crazy balanced. Um, you know, we had some games down the stretch that we didn't get early on, um, but we're getting some of them now. And um, it's a lot of parity. Um, you know, we, the, we, we've we won three of our last four, but we lost to Buffalo. We was in last place. So, I mean, it just, you got to show up and play. If you don't, you'll get beaten asleep. Oh, well, be huge. Be huge. Be huge. And, um, you know, we unfortunately dug ourselves a hole, um, you know, probably midway through the early part of the back, and then, you know, now we're playing probably our best basketball right now. Hopefully it's not too late. I know we're still behind the eight ball, but, you know, I give our guys a lot of credit, man. They they they, they haven't folded tent. They're, they're battling. They're, you know, enthusiastic. They're having fun in practice. They're, they're fun to coach, and we just go at it every day.
Our defense is way better. Our defense and rebounding is light years better. Um, you know, we've kind of tinkered and switched some things up, and um, our guys really bought into what we're doing. More zone, obviously, but playing some some man too um, with that and mixing it at different times. And our guys have done a good job, and you can see the communication and when we're doing things is a lot better. Um, we don't give up as many easy baskets as we did before. Transition defense getting back, so the defense is, and the rebounds just light years better than where we were before. I'm sure you're right. Well, the only good thing is, like, when he obviously when it happened, couldn't walk on the ankle, but he did come back out walking on the ankle. Um, it is a little bit stable. I think tonight will be the night where we'll find out a lot more of how much it swells and you know where it is tomorrow when he wakes up. So we'll see. Uh, oh, it's, you know, and and as soon as it happens, they hit a three. So momentum looks like it's going to totally shift in their directions. And you thought, you know, like, hey, maybe those guys are going to fold. And our guys didn't put their heads down. We got. I think we got a hand one from Orlando Lovejoy, a, a put back in the free throw. And I think we got another one, a bucket from our Sa uh, Sonia and uh, Yusef hit one. So it, it meant a lot that the guys stayed tough, knowing that, you know, Tyson, our guy, is, is wasn't with us uh, on the court, but with us on the bench. He was yelling and screaming. No, no, no. You know, our team at that point, it was, we just weren't, we were a little bit disjointed. We were just trying to figure things out. Like, you know, guys, weren't connected on the court defensively. Um, we were way more isolated and uh, not ball wasn't moving and sticking a whole lot. Uh, so we were a lot easier to guard, taking a way more harder shots. Um, so that was then, this is now, and we're a much more connected team. And obviously when you're that way, you give yourself a chance when you're the other way, it's slim, slim pickings. Okay, thank you.